Hi, I'm Ursula Sadiq, Senior Project Manager with Autodesk Plant Solutions. In this video, we're going to use AutoCAD Plant 3D Catalog Editor to modify piping components in a catalog and to create a new component. Here we have the Spec Editor open, which is also used to edit catalogs. Let's open the ASME Pipes and Fittings Catalog. I'm going to quickly draw your attention to an area in the Spec Editor called the Catalog Browser at the bottom of the page. Now we'll go to the Catalog Editor so we can modify our catalog. We can see in the Catalog Editor tab that we have a Catalog Browser similar to the one in Spec Editor. But we have the added ability to either display individual component size or to group all component sizes into a single line. Here we'll click to show all part families to keep the component sizes in the browser on a single line. And next we'll set the filter to 90 degrees long radius elbow. Selecting this elbow class, we can see at the piping components editor at the top, a dimension preview. We can see information about the connected port properties, piping component properties, and on the sizes tab, properties that are unique to each component size. Now that we've briefly looked around the interface, let's make some changes to the catalog. Let's start with something simple. We're going to assign the material of carbon steel to this elbow class. So in the piping component properties, I find the material part and add CS for carbon steel. When I press save to catalog, the next time we use this component class in a spec, we will get the material assigned CS. It's important to notice that we just modified the default plant 3D component. Typically, we'd want to duplicate it instead and have our own component. We've clicked Duplicate Component, and we're going to enter a new description. In this case, we'll add the material code and the schedule to this elbow class. When we click Create, we have our own component. There are now two sets of elbows. They're the same except for the long description. They have the same 33 sizes. Now let's assign Schedule 40 to the ports. There are two ports, so we'll assign Schedule 40 to both Port 1 and, and to Port 2. We'll also set a piping component property. We'll set the material code. Let me just copy the end of the long description and copy to the material code. And then I'll save it to the catalog. Next, I'll switch over to the spec editor to see what this new component set looks like in the spec. We're going to load an empty spec, filter on the short description to 90 degree long radius elbow, and add our components to this empty spec. We can edit parts and look that the material code and the port schedule are set for these new port parts. There it is, the port schedule. Good, our properties were there as expected. Now I'm going to close this, this spec and return to the catalog editor. So we see that modifying existing components is easy. Let's move on to a bigger challenge. If you click Create New Components, a dialog appears. First, we need to choose what kind of graphics to use. We can choose parametric graphics or custom block-based graphics. For block-based graphics, we need to draw an AutoCAD block for each size. We'll do that in the next video. Now let's take a look at the geometry available for the parametric graphics. We select a category, in this case piping component, and an end type so we can browse through the geometry. You can see that we have quite a few parametric graphics to choose from. For this video, we're going to create a segmented elbow. For the geometry, we'll select mitered bend for the short description, we'll enter L90 segmented. And we'll set an initial size range of 4 inches to 12 inches. You can change the description and sizes after we create the component. You cannot change the geometry type, the piping component type, which is a 3D class, or the primary end type. Although you can set actual connection port properties 
after you create the component. All right, we'll hit create to create this new component. This new component is added to the catalog. Let's set the short description filter to see it. Then we can select the component and we can minimize the catalog browser to get some more real estate. In Piping Component Properties, we can set the long description. Usually after you create a new component, most of the work is done in the Size tab, defining the dimensions for all the different sizes. Here we can add and remove component sizes and set dimensions. Notice our initial 4 inch to 12 inch size range. We're going to remove all the sizes between 4 and 12 for this video. And also, we're going to add a 1 inch size. At first, an added size is undefined. What will make it a 1 inch component is setting the nominal diameter. The matching pipe outside diameter is the value used to make connections in the model. Connection port properties are the same for ports 1 and 2. So all we have to do is check all ports have the same properties and fill out one of them. The red outline indicates required values, which are nominal and outside diameter. We'll also set the long description that is specified for each size. The long description is the part long description Earlier, we set a long description for the entire class. Now we'll enter the size parameters. These are the dimensions for the parametric geometry. We'll start with, with D, which is the same as the matching pipe outside diameter. If we hold the mouse over a parameter name, we will get a tooltip. These tooltips are important to pay attention to because many parameters have special values for default. A special value might be 0 or negative 1. Special values indicate that we want to allow the model to calculate a default. This is especially helpful as the models become more complex. We of course have to fill out the dimensions for all of our different sizes. So this was the 1 inch. We want two segments for it. For the 4 inch part, we also need to fill out these five parameters. And finally, for the 12-inch, fill out values for it. For the 4 and 12-inch part, we want four segments in our mitered elbow. With our parameters set, we click Save to Catalog. Now let's see how this new component would look in a model. First thing we need to do is add it to a spec. We'll open up an existing spec, filter to find our new part, setting our filter to 90 degrees segmented elbows, pick our new three parts, and add it to the spec. There it is in our spec sheet. We'll now exit the spec editor, saving on the way out, and launch AutoCAD Plant 3D. In AutoCAD Plant 3D, we're going to open the Spec Viewer. In the Spec Viewer, we'll see our spec sheet, including our segmented elbows. There are our three elbows. I'm going to click one and insert it in the model. Here's the four inch with four segments inserted in the model. And let's insert the 12 inch also. There's the 12 inch with four segments inserted in our model. So this is how you can add new parametric components to a spec and then to a model. In this video, we've used the catalog editor to modify existing components and to create a new parametric component. In the next video, we'll show you how to use catalog editor to, to create block-based components and to work with valve actuators. Thank you for watching.